بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This video has been made for the Alimiya students regarding the علم الصرف exam which will be held not written but oral Today is 6th July 2020 Corresponding to 14th Dhul Qa'da, 1441. With regards to Thulathi Mujarrad, the categories, the Abwab of Thulathi Mujarrad, then pupils need to be competent in Al Fa'lul Madi, number one, Al Fa'lul Mudari. Al Fa'l al Amr, Al Fa'l al Nahi, and Lam and Lan. So, for example, if we take Kataba, so for Maldi, you will do Kataba, Ma'roof, and Kutiba, Majhul, and Ma Kataba, Ma Kutiba, negative. In the same manner, for Mudari, you, will, you should be able to, to do the paradigm of Yaktubu and Majhul, Yuktabu. And la yaktubu, la yuktabu. Negative ma'roof and negative majhul. In the same way, al fa'l al amr. So you must be able to start from the first um, verb of the paradigm, which is li yaktub. And you should also be able to start, if requested, from number seven, uktub, uktuba. Uh, and majhul as well, li yuktab, li yuktaba. Al fa'lun nahyu is exactly the same that you should be able to start from the first one la yaktub la yaktuba la yaktubu or number seven la taktub la taktuba la taktubu in exactly the same way lam and lan so ma'roof and majhul so lam yaktub lam yaktuba lam yuktab lam yuktaba la yansura or la yaktuba la yaktuba la yaktubu la yuktaba la yuktaba la yuktabu so that's thulathi mujarrad You should also be able to competently do the asarfu sagir of thulathi mujarrad verbs. And because you are first year students, you are expected to know the first two lines of asarfu sagir of thulathi mujarrad. So, this is an example of asarfu sagir. From Bab Nasarayan Suru of Nasarayan Suru itself. So let's have a closer look. So we start off with Nasarayan Suru and the Masdar Nusratan Fahuwa Nasir Ismul Fa'il. And then we have Wanusira Yunsaru Nusratan Fahuwa Mansur. So for the purposes of the exam, the first two lines are required however for our advanced students i strongly recommend that you learn a sarfu sahir up to here so after you have done ismul maf'ul which is up to here you simply have lam yansur lam yunsar ma'roof and majhul and then you have negative not al fa'l al nahyu but negative manfi al mudari' al manfi la yansuru ma'ruf and then la yunsaru then the same with la yansura la yunsara and then we come to what we call al fa'l al amr and in al fa'l al amr you have number 7 first unsur and then the respective majhul li tunsar and then li yansur li yunsar and then we have the prohibitive. So again, we have number seven, la tansur, and then la, number seven, majhul, la tunsar. And then we go back to the first one, la yansur, and majhul, la yunsar. So I strongly recommend that our uh, students who are um, up to date with their work and uh, that you try and learn up to al fa'l al nahyu and this will be a bonus for you as well in the exam so i will just go over this as-sarf al-saghir with for example sajada yasjudu 
So don't worry about the masdar too much. If you don't know the mas masdar, uh, don't worry about that. Masadir, you will learn them uh, through experience, through practice, through more exposure. So, sajada yasjudu sujudan fahuwa sajid, wa sujida yusjadu sujudan fahuwa masjud. Lam yasjud, lam yusjad. La yasjudu, la yusjadu. La yasjuda, la yusjada. Al-amru minhu usjud. Litusjad, li yasjud, li yusjad. Wa nahyu anhu la tasjud, la tusjad, la yasjud, la yusjad. The remainder... We will not be covering it now. Inshallah, you will be covering it in your um, uh, second year, at the beginning of the second year. So I strongly recommend again that you learn up to uh, here. And the first two lines are for everybody. Everybody must, must know the first two lines of as sarfu saghir With regards to thulathi mazid fi, which is if'al, taf'il, mufa'ala, etc., you must know the following paradigms. So this is far less than thulathi uh, mujarrad. So al-fi'lu al-madi. So for example, if we had akrama, so akrama and ukrima, the majhul as well. Then you've got mudari' so yukrimu and the majhul yukramu and the negative as well. La yukrimu, la yukramu. Al-fi'lu al-amr, so from number seven, akrim, akrima. From number one, li yukrim, and the majhul as well. From number one, it will be li yukram. From number seven, it will be li tukram. And in the same way, al-fi'lu nahyu so if we start from number seven, la tukrim, la tukrima. If we start from number one, la yukrim, la yukrima, and the majhul as well, from number one will be la yukram. So from thulathi mazid fi, you are expected to know madi, mudari' amr, and uh, al-fi'lu nahyu. Uh, the ma'roof and the majhul. You are also expected to know as-sarfu uh, saghir of thulathi mazid fi. Again, as a bare minimum, everybody must know the first two lines. So from Babul Ifal, we will have akrama yukrimu ikraman fahuwa mukrim. The good thing about Thulathi Mazid Fi is that there is a, a, a pattern, a wazn for the masdar. So you will not be guessing uh, what the masdar is. So Akrama Yukrimu Ikraman Fahuwa Mukrim. So that's number one, line number one. And then we have Majhul Wa Ukrima Yukramu Ikraman Fahuwa Mukram. So the first two lines, everybody must know them. However, again, I will strongly recommend that you do the entire Asarfu Saghir because it's far shorter than the Thulathi Mujarrad Asarfu Saghir. So again, we will have Lam and then Mudari' uh, Manfi, Mudari' Negative. Then we have Lan and then we have Al-Fi'lu Al-Amr, number seven. And then we have uh, number seven majhul, then number one ma'roof, and number one majhul. And then we will have uh, the prohibitive in exactly the same way. And then we have something else, dharf. Although we haven't covered ismu dharf formally, it's very easy. Ismu dharf comes on the pattern of ismu maf'ul. So you've got here mukram. The dual is mukramani. And the plural is the last um, uh, word uh, in the paradigm of ismul maf'ul. So we have mukramun, mukramani, mukramaini, mukramuna, mukramina. Then we have the feminine, mukramatun, mukramatani, mukramataini, mukramat. So there you are, mukramat. The uh, feminine plural is the same plural for ismu dharf. Ismu dharf. So very easy. And just a very important note that when you are doing as sarfu saghir we want it to be done properly with CLST and that you stop um, at each line. So we want it like this. Akrama yukrimu ikraman fahuwa mukrim wa ukrima yukramu ikraman fahuwa mukram. Lam yukrim, lam yukram. La yukrimu, la yukramu. Lan yukrima, lan yukrama. Al amru minhu akrim. Li tukram, li yukrim, li yukram. Wa nahyu anhu la tukrim, la tukram, la yukrim, la yukram. Al dharfu minhu mukramun mukramani mukramat. So that's how we want it. We don't want it too fast. 
that we can't make out what you are saying and we don't want you to stop in the middle. For example, you read Lam Yukrim and then you have a pause. No, Lam Yukrim, Lam Yukram. It goes together, Ma'roof and Majhul. After uh, Lam Yukram, you can pause here if you want, no problem. So I hope this is clear and the same applies to Thulathi Mujarrad as well. This is really important. C-L-S-T, which is our mantra. Uh, clear, loud, slowly. And uh, T stands for Tajweed. Although we don't expect a high level of Tajweed here, for example, Ghunna, Ikhfa. However, we do want uh, things to be recited properly. For example, Akrama. It's a Hamza. We don't want you, you to read Akrama with a Ayn. So that's part one of the exam completed. Thulathi Mujarrad, you know which paradigms to learn and Asarfu Saghir, a minimum of two lines. However, we strongly recommend that you learn um, further as well as highlighted in the video. It will be a bonus for you. Thulathi, Mazid Fi, you need to know the paradigms of Madi, Mudari' Al-Amr and Al-Fa'l al nahi and you also need to know As-Sarf al saghir a minimum of two lines. However, as a strong recommended, um, uh, strongly recommended that you learn the entire paradigm. It's very straightforward. It's all about understanding. So from here, let's look at part two. Part two is to show your understanding of Ilmu Sarf, in particular, Thulathi Mazidfi. And when we, are, when we say Thulathi Mazidfi, we are talking about the first eight categories up to here. So basically, we are talking about Babul Ifal, Taf'il, Mufa'ala, Taf'ul, Taf'ul, Ifti'al, Istif'al, and number eight, Infi'al. These are what we call the commonly used abwab, the commonly used categories of Thulathi Mazid fi. The remainder, which is Ifilal, Ifilal, Ifi'al, Ifi'wal, Ifa'ul, and Ifa'ul, these are also important, however, because they are not widely used, we have not covered them as yet in year one. We are focused mainly on the above eight, from numbers one to number eight. So basically, if you are given root letters, you should be able to convert those root letters and make the paradigm and as-sarf as of these first eight abwab of Thulathi Mazid Fi. Let's just take an example. So, so here we have three root letters, Gaf, Sin and Ra, Gasar, which means to break. So if you are told that Gaf, Sin and Ra take it into the first eight abuab, what you should be able to do is, for example, if you are asked the Madi and Mudari' only, you should be able to competently say quickly, Aksara yuksiru, kasara yukasiru, kasara yukasiru, takasara yatakasaru, takasara yatakasaru, iktasara yaktasiru, and istifal, istaksara yastaksiru, and infial in kasara yankasiru. So either you do it in order, or if you are asked about a particular uh, category. So for example, if the examiner says, Gaf, Sin, and Ra, take it into, for example, Babul Ifti'al. So you will say, Iktasara, Yaktasiru. And if the examiner says, right, do Asarf as saghir So as a bare minimum, you should be able to do the first two lines, which is, Iktasara, Yaktasiru, Iktisar, Fahuwa Muktasir, Wa Uktusira, Yuktasiru, Iktisar, Fahuwa Muktasar. So let's just take another example of uh, of these of the root letters Meme, Dal and Ha, which has a meaning of to praise, Madaha. So let's just say you are told take Meme, Dal and Ha into Babul Mufa'ala. So you will quickly say Madaha Yumadihu. 
And if you're told do the asarf al sagheer you will as a bare minimum do the first two lines. Madaha yumadihu mumadahatan wa midahan fahuwa mumadih wa mudiha yumadahu mumadahatan wa midahan fahuwa mumadah. So it's a bit tongue twisting. I hope I've got it right. But I hope you've got the idea of uh, what is expected. So you could then be asked the same root letters, take them into, for example, Babu Tafail, which is uh, this. So you will quickly say, Maddaha yumaddihu tamdihan fahuwa mumaddih wa muddiha yumaddahu tamdihan fahuwa mumaddah. Babu al-mufa'ala, do remember, it has two masdars, one on the pattern of mufa'ala and the other is on the pattern of fi'al. You are expected to know both. So you will have mumaddaha um, and you will have also on fi'al, so midah, midah. The uh, meme will go here. On the ain, you will have the dal, and on the lam, you will have the ha. So midah. So one final example. So remember, this is part two of your exam. If you are given root letters, you should be able to take them into any of the first eight categories of a thulathi mazid fi. So let's take these root letters: ain, ra, and fa. Arafa to recognize, to know different meanings. So, uh, if you are told, right, do the maldi mudari of the first eight babs, so you will start off from here. A'rafa yu'rifu, arrafa yu'arifu, arrafa yu'arifu, ta'arrafa yata'arrafu, ta'arrafa yata'arrafu, i'tarafa ya'tarifu, and then ista'rafa yasta'rifu, and then in'arafa yan'arifu and so on. And then if you're told to do the respective sarfu sagheer, then you will do the first two lines as a bare minimum. So let's just take one example. Let's put arafa into babul ifti'al. So we will have i'tarafa ya'tarifu i'tiraf fahuwa mu'tarif wa u'turifa yu'tarafu i'tiraf fahuwa mu'tarif. There we are. So this requires practice. This requires practice. And I strongly recommend to all who are listening that every day you get four or five different root letters and as as a starting point you start doing just the um maldi and the mudari so for example let's just take another root letter um let's take for example shariba so we've got sheen ra and ba to drink so Ashraba yushribu, sharraba yusharribu, sharraba yusharibu, tasharraba yatasharrabu, tasharraba yatasharrabu, ishtaraba yashtaribu, istashraba yastashribu. Some of them could be a little bit um, tongue twisting. And this last one, in sharaba yansharibu. And then you move on to asarfu sagheer as a bare minimum, the first two lines. Again, for our students who are slightly advanced and you are up to date with your work, we expect you that you go beyond the first two lines and you try to complete the entire asarfu sagheer. So, for example, if you were given the root letters ain, lam, and meme, ilm, alima, to know. So you should be, as everybody, as a bare minimum, must be able to do the first two lines up to here. So let's start off by uh, putting it into Babul Ifal. So A'lama yu'limu i'lam fahuwa mu'lim wa u'lima yu'limu i'lam fahuwa mu'lim. However, do go a step further. We're here to learn and we're going to do this next year anyway at the beginning of, this, of year two. So you might as well start it from now and build competency and gain also bonus marks in the exam. So you can continue by saying Lam yu'lim, lam yu'lam, la yu'limu, la yu'lamu, la yu'lima, la yu'lama, al-amru minhu a'lim, li tu'lam, li yu'lim, li yu'lam, wa nahyu anhu la tu'lim, la tu'lam, la yu'lim, la yu'lam, al-dharf minhu mu'lamun mu'lamani. Do you remember ismu al-dharf is the first two of ismu al-maf'ul and the last plural, the feminine plural. So mu'lamun mu'lamani, mu'lamat. And just to um, highlight that this taking it into, taking root letters into the abwab, the categories of thulathi mazidfi, it applies to what we call perfective verbs only, what we call sahih, i.e. verbs like 
root letters like Sheen, Ra, and Ba, Shariba, Samia, Kataba, Kasara, Fataha, Kharaja, Dakhala, Sajada, etc. Um, so perfective verbs only, and you should know what perfective verbs are. Sahi, i.e., perfective verbs are those verbs, for example, which don't have a Hamza, two same letters and what we call wow alif and ya the uh, madda letters they don't have wow alif or ya in the root basically uh, so these are what we call perfective verbs so taking um, root letters into if al mufa'ala the eight abwab the eight commonly used categories of thulathi mazidfi it only applies to um thulathi uh, to sorry to perfective verbs sahi perfective verbs only part three is more of a reminder i should have mentioned this at the end of part one obviously you also need to know um the madi mudari amr etc of qala yaqulu da'a yad'u rama yarmi madda yamuddu and the other patterns which you have covered so you need to know the madi the mudari the amr etc uh, of these respective verbs as well however you will not be expected to take qala for example into babul if'al however if you um have time you should definitely look into this qala for example will be a qala in babu tafil it will become qawwala the wow which is part of the root letters will return qawwala yuqawwil taqwil da'a will be ad'a yud'i and in tafil da'a yud'i and so on however you are not expected to do that i am just mentioning it again it's uh, a precursor to what you will inshallah be doing in year two so this is the conclusion that for your exam, number one, you need to be uh, competent in your Thulathi Mujarrad paradigms, whether they are Sahih, Ajwaf like Qala, Ba'a, Zada or Naqis like Da'a, Rama or Mudaf like Madda Yamuddu, you need to be proficient. Also, with Thulathi Mujarrad Sahih only, you need to know Asarfu Sagir as a bare minimum, the first two lines. However, do try to learn further as mentioned. Number two, the conclusion number two is again Thulathi Mazid Fi Sahih only. So, in Thulathi Mazid Fi, we're not dealing with non Sahih, only perfective verbs. So, Maldi, Mudari, Amr, and Nahi only. And again, as a bare minimum, the first two lines of Asarfu Sagir. And then we have number three, Al-Huruf Al-Asliya. Al-Huruf Al-Asliya is the Arabic for root letters. So you will be given root letters and you should be able to then um, uh, make the whatever is requested from you like Madi, Mudari, the Asraf al Or you might be told, for example, write Kataba, Babul Ifal, do the Mudari. So you will do yuktibu yuktiban yuktibuna if you're told for example shariba do al fa'lu al amr from taf'il so sharaba yusharibu so you li yusharib li yusharba li yusharibu li tusharib li tusharba li yusharibna sharib shariba sharibu sharibi shariba sharibna li usharib li nusharib and so on so i hope this is clear and concluding this video, it's very important that you appreciate that you start practicing. You've still got several days before your exam. So you need to sit down um, and practice every day for at least half an hour. You've got live lessons on Zoom with your teacher. However, in addition to that, you need to sit down and practice for half an hour and basically build that ability and try to use those root letters which can sometimes be a little bit tongue uh, twisting uh, because that's what really uh, helps you to do um, almost all root letters comfortably and with ease. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.